Hey everyone, welcome to CloudChamp. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create personal access tokens on GitHub to clone and push to your remote private repositories. If you see here, I'm trying to clone a repository and it's asking me for username and password. When I entered my password, it says support for password authentication was removed on August 13th and you need to check this documentation to create personal access token. So if I open this documentation, it will uh, open this one and you can see when cloning with HTTPS URL, it's asking you to create personal access token. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create personal access tokens on GitHub. Let's get started. So I'm going to go to my GitHub uh, profile and you can find settings option here in the click on settings option in the and then inside settings scroll down, you will find developer settings. This is where you can create your journal access tokens. So click on personal access tokens and there are two options the fine grain tokens and the tokens classic so to create personal access token we're going to click on tokens classic option here and then we need can so this is the page you will get i already have one access token and you can see all the permissions that i have so but for you if you want to create a new token click on generate new token option and then click on new token classic option this is fine grained where you can create tokens with more permissions and to ensure security but this is in beta right now so i'm going to choose the generate new token classic option so here first thing we need to do is to give the name so i'm going to name it my token and then you need to set the expiration if you want this token to expire in seven days then select seven if you don't want it to expire then click on no expiration option so once you set up the expiration you need to select the scope or the permissions that this token should have so i'm going to select repo which will give all actions or all permissions for this repo if i'm using this token i can also choose admin organization here and i can choose access to delete the repository so this is all i'm going to go ahead and click on generate new token option once i click on generate new token this is what i'm going to get so if you are seeing this make sure you save your generate token uh, your token because you won't be able to see it again after this is closed so i'm going to go to my uh, terminal again and do the same command git clone HTTPS and this time I'm going to enter my username. So this is my username and in place of my password I'm going to paste my token that I've copied. So once I paste my token and if I press enter it will show me that it has cloned Right, so there's no error of authentication. This is how you can create uh, tokens on GitHub if you choose to go with fine fine grain tokens Let me show you how can you create fine grain tokens as well. So click on generate token the same way you need to enter the name so my token and then you can select the expiration and here you can select if you want to have access for all repositories or for just one, some of the repositories on your github profile so i'm going to go with all repositories let's say and then you can select repository permission so here you can define more per, more permissions and uh, like you can fine grain it and give only the permissions that are required this is why using this you can have more secure so you can choose to give whatever permission you want and then go ahead and create the generate token option. So I hope this was informative. Now you understood how to create access tokens on GitHub. If you have any questions, any doubt, let me know in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. Have a good day.